YouTube have added some powerful new tools along with updating some old ones that are really going to help you run your channel more smoothly and build a stronger community. It doesn't matter if you have one subscriber or a million subscribers. Every creator has access to these tools. So let's get started. Let's be honest, spam comments are nothing new, especially ones about the best ways to invest in cryptocurrency. However, high profile YouTubers complaining about this problem and how it's getting worse is new. And so YouTube have decided to act. So if you go to settings in the YouTube studio, click on the community section and then the defaults tab, you'll see this new checkbox called increase strictness. This should improve the chances of YouTube filtering out spam, self-promotion and gibberish. But there's only one way to really test this out, isn't there? Come on, do your worst. So gonna live to regret that. On a similar theme, you can now set channel guidelines that may pop up when a viewer posts a comment on one of your videos or during a live stream live chat. These custom guidelines won't cause comments or live chat messages to be automatically hidden or removed. They'll instead help you set expectations for comments that may get held for review by you or your channel moderators. Now, if you have a tendency to swear a lot in your YouTube videos, but you're more than happy for your audience to enjoy the full experience of the language, you may want to check out this setting. You'll find this under the automatic captions in the advanced settings of the channel section of the YouTube studio settings. This will ensure that YouTube's automatic captioning tool will show you all of the words you're willing to say on camera. Toggling this feature on or off will not impact the monetization of a video in any way, but the video still may get flagged for the language used because it's got to go through the ad friendly guide guidelines, which you'll learn more about when you self-certify your content. Oh, and by the way, you do know that you can make any word sound really inappropriate if you put the sensor sound effect over it. You can use sound effects for all sorts, actually. Did you know that viewers can clip sections of your videos and live streams and share them? It doesn't download the video off of YouTube, create a brand new video or anything like that, but it does allow anyone to potentially change the context of your video. If you don't like the idea of people being able to do this, you can disable the functionality through the channel advanced settings and unticking this checkbox. And you know what? I should probably disable it for this video for obvious reasons. The Children's Online Privacy Protection Act means you have to declare whether or not your content is made for kids. Every time you upload a video, you'll be asked this question, unless you set your answer by default here. And just to be clear, YouTube won't simply take your answer at face value. They will check your content, so don't intentionally mislead them. It could get you in a lot of trouble, including channel termination and possible fines. Nope. I'm not going to scream for that one. Did you know that YouTube can now create automatic video chapters or timestamps if it has enough information in the video to do so? This video, for example, has auto generated video chapters. But if YouTube is doing a terrible job of this, or you prefer your viewers not jumping around your videos and creating weird audience retention graphs that look like this, you can turn the feature off through the advanced settings of the upload default section of the YouTube studio settings. Now then, YouTube Shorts. I found out something really interesting about Shorts while researching this video, but you can only access it through the mobile YouTube studio app. It's this thing called remixes, and it shows you when other creators are using your content in their YouTube shorts. Yes, this is allowed, and it's actually turned on by default. If you really don't like the idea of random creators being able to do this, your best option is to select all your videos through the content screen in the YouTube studio, and then using the edit dropdown to select short sampling, and then changing everything to don't allow sampling. Currently, this short sampling tool only allows creators to sample the audio from your videos, not the video itself. But this setting will only protect your long form content. Any creator can still sample the audio from any of your YouTube shorts and you can't do anything about it. Bit of an older one this, but it's nice free advertising for your website and other social media handles. Channel banner links can be set up through the customization screen basic info tab in the YouTube studio. Just make sure to toggle the links on banner function. Some creators actually bake in a call to action graphic on the banner because the channel banner crops in on the mobile display where channel links don't actually show. Now on that same customization screen is one of the most important settings on your entire YouTube channel. And if you screw it up, I'm afraid you could lose absolutely everything. Your contact email address is seen by everyone, which is great for business inquiries, but it's also a huge security risk. So whatever you do, do not make your contact email address 
the same as your YouTube login email address. What the my thoughts exactly. Now, if you think that's all there is to know about running a YouTube channel, you're sadly mistaken. There are YouTube settings coming out of the wazoo, whatever that means. And if you want to find out another 16 YouTube settings that are really going to help you maintain and grow your channel, check out this video over here.